Hello, everybody. I'm Ben Lubar, and I've got an achievement I want to do on Guild Wars 2 that's been giving me trouble. So I'm going to do what I did with that previous video a while ago, where I wasn't allowed to touch the sand. This time, I have to kill a boss within three minutes. So I'm probably going to cut the video here to when I get to the boss fight. I don't know. I'll figure it out. Because there is some stuff that happens before it. Maybe I'll leave it in for the first one. Okay. Everyone all right? They're just gonna sit and argue. It's up to us. I'm not scared. I say we go after them ourselves. I admire your courage, but I'm not sure going after them is the best idea. Not your business, Outlander. Maybe. But haven't your families lost enough? How are they going to feel if you don't come back? We'll come back. We know how to fight. Show me. Huh? You heard me. Show me what you can do. I'll do the same. And we'll all get better at keeping each other safe. We won't go easy on you. You'd better not. So this fight is only required for an achievement I already have. Which means that it's probably going to be faster for me to just lose the fight. Let's just stand near one of these enemies. I should turn off my mini. There we go. Just gonna let these sand elementals kill me. There we go. Told you we can fight. You weren't kidding. You three can be a big help to your people. But only if you stay here to protect them. I guess. I know it's hard. That voice in your head, spoiling for a fight. But a wise warrior knows when to ignore that voice. Tough time for them. That voice in your head? If you're not careful, it can take over. Invaders! We need to protect help. the cubs. Get them to the village. I'll shield them, Commander. You clear a path. If you look on the left, there's actually some robots being knocked off of a platform. And as far as I know, this is the first time that in Guild Wars 2, NPCs have been able to be knocked off a platform. That'll even happen right here when Bram walks up to the assault cubes. So it's not just a pre-baked animation, it's they're actually falling off the platform. Might be a pre-baked animation over there, but not over here. Okay, so I've got to kill these purple ones, purple cubes, and then I get a thing that I can pick up, Volatile Lay Energy, and I can use that to remove the armor from the thing that's the Enhanced Mark I Phalanx Golem. Okay. So let's remove its armor. Okay, and now we can destroy the power core. Okay, the power core is gone. Move ahead. Too many of them. I'm There's our friend Orin. She's a dragon. Don't hurt her. She's on our side. The Outlander has a dragon. There's a bunch of those robots over there. And they're going to start shooting projectiles at the bridge. So each of those projectiles is actually dealing damage. So as long as I stay away from them, which I can do by staying inside the bubble, I'm going to be fine. 
See that? That robot just got knocked off the side. Or, I don't know where it went. Oh, it got knocked into the building. That one got knocked off the side, definitely. Down there. Okay. So here comes the blast again. I'm just avoiding that, okay. Whatever. There's some more robots that I need to fight. Okay, so the most you can carry of those shield removing abilities is four. If you have less than four, then you get one back if you use it on something that doesn't have a shield. But what I'm going to be doing is I'm going to get four of them and then not use them at all until I get to the boss. So once I get to four and I'm not having to remove a shield from something, I'm not going to attack any enemies with the shield remover. Come on now, focus is one. Work together. Hey, there's my dad. Dad, let me help you. No, you're safer in the village. Don't worry, we'll get him there. No time to keep a shield going. You cubs are doing great. Quick breather, and we move again. Or Reen gets those. Reen clear the path. Let's go. Hmm. I guess I can't even pick up those. I guess that's fine because I'm gonna move forward and there will be more of them up ahead. There they are. Orin's gonna land here, so you definitely see Orin in this instance. I can just go in and grab some of volatile energy. Okay. I want to make sure I don't remove its entire shield until I can get four of them. So I have to wait until more of them appear. So I only have three right now, and that'll put me down to two if I don't. Did they appear? No. Hmm. There they are. Okay. I just need to make sure there's at least enough for me to get to four. Okay, so I can get to four now. I'll remove its shield. I'll grab two of these. Now I can destroy the power core. And I will hold on to the four shield removing things I have. What are they even called? Release energy. Volatile lane. Okay. So I've destroyed that one. Now there are no more shielded ones until we get to the boss. And the boss is the boss has four shields. There was one, two, three, and then the boss is four. I can protect them if you bring them to me. Oh, almost forgot. There's some enemies I have to fight here. Okay. keep them safe so I need to fight enemies until rocks starts moving towards us so that's why I'm looking in this direction she will appear from that side once rocks moves in then I can go fight the boss there's rocks okay So here's the boss arena. Basically anytime you see a big area with the circle in it, it's a boss arena. So 
so I need to try to keep my health up as much as possible because the boss fight will start. Although I don't think the boss timer starts immediately. I should definitely save my cooldowns though. Because some of these longer cooldowns will be useful in the fight. Okay. There's one cube left over there. Here comes the boss. That sounds ominous. So for that attack, it alternates hands, which means that if I move in one direction, I'll get hit by every single one, of, or I'll get hit by half of them. And if, if I don't move, I'll get hit by every single one. The only way to not get hit by that attack is to alternate. Okay. Now I start the boss fight. There's one... Two, three, and four. Okay, I've got to fight this core. Hopefully I can deal enough damage to kill it. Or at least, I mean, I won't be able to kill the core, but I do want to deal enough damage that I get its health down significantly. Okay, so it's down to 63% health. I need to find some of these purple cubes and destroy those. Okay, I got two of them. There's one over there. There's another purple cube. The boss is spitting out more. So maybe I should attack one of these while I'm waiting for it to explode. Okay. So I died there, but the way this boss fight works, you just lose time. You don't lose, like, armor or anything. Okay, so it's... Down. Okay, I'm going to use the armor remover on the core. Okay, it's down to 33%. This is good so far. Hopefully the Omicron are going to trigger the end of the fight, and I'll get big. There we go, I'm big. Okay, this is looking good so far. Maybe I'm only gonna have one attempt in this video. That'll be nice. Just watch that little yellow crown icon in the bottom right-ish of the screen. If that disappears, then I've lost. Oh no, it's good. Oh, I lost. Yeah, it's gone. Okay. So I'm not even gonna finish it off. I'm gonna log out, log back in, and we're gonna redo that mission. So this time, I think, as long as it goes as well as it did that time, I can just use some consumables to get extra allies at that last phase.
loading back in. Okay, it's gonna teleport me. They're just gonna sit and argue. Okay, so that's 17 minutes left on that food. I'm fine with that. I say we go after him ourselves. Yeah. Okay. I admire your courage, but I'm not sure going after them is the best idea. Not your business, Outlander. Maybe. But haven't your families lost enough? How are they going to feel if you don't come back? We'll come back. We know how to fight. Show me. Huh? You heard me. Show me what you can do. I'll do the same. And we'll all get better at keeping each other safe. We won't go easy on you. You'd better not. <laughs> okay. I'm gonna lose the fight again. Because it's faster. You three can be a big help to your people, but only if you I wonder, to will any of these help? 5% damage? Yes. That might help. I know it's hard. Let's try that. That voice in your head, spoiling for a fight. But a wise warrior knows when to ignore that voice. Okay, I made a few changes. I have activated a combat booster, and I changed my spec a little. So now instead of doing uh, some extra bleeding when I dodge, which wasn't helping me much because I forgot to do it at all, now I will generate additional life force, and my F1 ability will that thing's on fire. Did I change anything else with that? Uh, oh, basically my shroud abilities have less cooldown, so I'll be able to use them more often. Hopefully that'll give me a, an edge in the fight. The 5% damage should definitely give me an edge, assuming that works for condition damage and not just straight up damage. We'll find out. Ominous. Oh, can I actually damage? That would be interesting. I don't know if I can. No, I don't think I can damage it. Or if I can, it's not enough damage to... Oh, it did, it did go down to 99%. Interesting. Okay. Do some armor removal. Okay, here's the core. Okay, that was the first phase. How much did I get off? Like, 50%. That's really good. Oh, that, that death probably cost me a lot of time that I can't afford. 
Okay, let's figure out what I can do here. Going against my own advice about how dodging in one direction will cause you to get hit. But let's figure this out. Okay, there we go. another death. Down to 33%, I'm going to spawn my helpers. There we go. Let's see how well I can do now. Wait, where even is the achievement? Did I lose the achievement already? Because I died too many times? I think I did. Okay. Well, that was a bad choice. Oh, here we go again. Not dying is important, apparently. I wonder if I can put a timer on the screen somehow. I don't know. It doesn't really matter. What is it with ArenaNet and putting really boring sections of the, of the instance before the part where they make you do it? in one try or you have to restart the whole thing i say we go after him ourselves. weird i admire your courage but i'm not sure going after them is the best idea okay maybe do i have anything else that could help me lost enough how are they going to feel let's see come back we'll come back we know how to fight show me huh you heard me show me what you can do I'll do the same, and we'll all get better at keeping each other safe. Okay, time for attempt number three. This time I switched up my build again. Uh, I noticed that my... Uh, well, the, the enemies I was fighting weren't really staying in one place long enough for the 
uh, Plague Lands elite skill to work. So I got rid of that and replaced it with a golem. Flesh golem. And because I didn't have that skill anymore, there wasn't really any reason to have the shorter cooldown for uh, corruption skills. So I decided to switch my remaining corruption skill out for desiccate, which I can cast on uh, on my auto attack, and instead have. Uh, Basically, I just have a bunch of uh, zombies following me around instead of having a bunch of skills that weren't really helping me that much. So hopefully that'll help. I don't really have anything to make the zombies stronger, but they are pretty strong on their own. And I'll be giving them might every few seconds. Well, every 15 seconds. Just by... Uh, just by having desiccate go off automatically. Assessment complete. Executing new target priority. Help! Get out of here! We will not be chased from our home. You hear me? We will not. Right, here we go. Okay, here's phase one. Get that core. Okay, that was not as good as my previous attempt. I'm going to switch uh, my auto attack back to my first skill. That should put me back to normal. Okay. So I just have to make sure that I get enough volatile weight energy to get it down to its next phase. My, uh, my zombies are hopefully going to help me with this, although I can't really control them too well. Okay. Get rid of some of its armor. That's weird. I guess I stun broke out of being dead. There we go. Okay. Now I have to destroy this. Okay, we're down to 33%. So I should just try to hit this as much as I can. Hopefully I can get its health down to nothing. Oh, I also switched one of my uh, damage traits to uh, a healing trait. So that has been keeping me alive a little better. Uh, we're gonna run out of time. Again? Huh. So it's probably that death I took that caused the problem. Well, let's keep trying. Okay. Let's reset back to more like what we had previously that was working pretty well. 
and I just have to not die. That's the important part. Uh, let's put that up there. That's fine, that's fine. Here we go. Uh, there we go. There. Okay. Everyone all They're just going to sit and argue. It's up to us. I'm not going to have zombies helping me because they're too unreliable. Ourselves. I admire your courage, but I'm not sure going after them is the best idea. Not your business, Outlander. Maybe. What are my sigils? Malice and geomancy. How are they going to feel mm -hmm. if you don't come back? We'll come back. We know how to fight. Show me. Huh? You heard me. Show me what you can mm, do. My renegade I'm runes are saying, probably not the and best. We'll all get better at keeping each other safe. We won't go easy on you. This ferocity isn't really helping me. Let's see if I can get better runes. Condition damage and bleeding duration. Okay, that seems useful. And the cooldown for that is... Yeah, that looks good. Although, that is... Let's see, 10, 15, 20. That's 35% bleeding duration. What do I have right now with... I have... 7% no oh, that's damage be a big help to your people okay my condition duration Not only if you stay here currently I guess uh I know it's hard that voice in your head so I get for a fight. 35 percent that's gonna be a hundred no that's more than a hundred okay that's not a good one for a necromancer tough time for them that voice uh, is let's there. see if you're not careful it can take over To protect the cubs. Get them to the village. I'll shield them, Commander. You clear a path. Poison and weakness. No. Condition duration and precision. Leading poison duration. That would only be a little above. Burning duration. But that's power. I don't want power. Can't get through with these golems in the way. We can help too. Watch this. Balthazar. Balthazar could be useful. They're pretty cheap. Let's keep Balthazar in mind. I think it's going to be Balthazar. Yeah, let's go Balthazar. So let's buy six of those. We'll buy seven. Okay, we're gonna buy those. And because I don't want to waste any uh, trading post things, I am going to try to get out of combat and buy them in World vs. World. Because we're pretty close to the start of this instance anyway. Come on, there we go. Eternal Battlegrounds. Unless there's a better one that I can buy from 
the Eternal Battlegrounds merchant, but I don't think there is. Let's check. Uh, Pathfire. Okay. Are any of these better? What is the Scourge one? Healing power. I don't want healing power. I'm not having trouble with healing. I'm having trouble with killing the boss. Okay, Balthazar it is. Okay. Let's put in our Balthazar runes. Okay. Here we go, back to fast mode. Okay, I lied. Can be a big I am also going to switch out one of my sigils. Because uh, the sigil that I currently have gives me condition duration for all my conditions, and that's putting me over the cap for burning, which is my main condition that I'm dealing damage with. So instead, I'm going to use a sigil of corruption, which I can build up to give me uh, additional condition damage. So I'll just leave World vs. World and I'll point out how much condition damage I have and how much it'll give me. Okay, so currently I have 1705 condition damage. The sigil gives me 10 condition damage per kill for a maximum of 25. I lose all those if I die, but every time I die, I fail this, so I'm pretty sure I can only do this if I don't die. But that means that I go from 1,700 to 1,950. That's a pretty big difference. versus the condition duration, which was doing basically nothing. Everyone all right. So right now the duration of burning is 92%. I'm not scared. I say we go after him ourselves. I admire your So losing that 8% duration boost on spells that deal like seven and three quarter seconds of burning not really that much of a problem compared to how much damage i'm gaining from the stacking effect we'll come back we know how to fight okay it's probably going to be better show me for me to actually kill these enemies and we'll all get better at keeping at least for this time so i can see how many i have to eh, you know what i'll just let them kill me and then hopefully after they kill me there'll be at least 25 enemies i can kill I'm sure there are enough, and if there aren't, then I can wait and more will appear before I can go into the boss. Let's see, do I have, I do not have enough nourishment, so I'm gonna buy more nourishment effects. Let's see, where is the super veggie pizza? There we go. I'll have to remember to do that before the boss fight. Okay, here we go. Told you we can fight. You weren't kidding. You three can be a big help to your people. But only if you stay here to protect them. I guess. I know it's hard. That voice in your head, spoiling for a fight. But a wise warrior knows when to ignore that voice. 
Tough time for them. That voice in your head? You're not careful. It can take over. Invaders! We need to protect the pups. Okay, so we're going in with the original build. Commander, you clear a path. But some different sigils and runes. Hey, we know how to Here we go. Yeah. Let us help. You wanna help? Do it under the shield. I wonder if it counts as going down if I die in the fight. So right now I'm not timed. And that means that it's probably best for me if I just try to get 25 kills before I go to the boss. That's what I should be focusing on. Right now I'm up to nine. I just deal some damage to those. Okay. Time for yet another attempt. I've got 25 stacks of corruption, which means that my conditions deal a lot more damage. As long as I don't go down, I should be fine. Okay, I'm gonna focus on not taking damage. Sounds ominous. Target providing support to enemies. Initiating priority assessment. Elder, stay back! We don't want it targeting you! The only one do not count! Assessment complete. Executing new target priority. Elder, get out of here! We will not be chased. I have Do you hear me? We will not. No, I had served. Threat eliminated. Please, destroy it. Tampering with volatile material. It's pure prohibited. Down to 55%. I am doing very bad at that. Okay, there's one. I'm gonna leave it there for now. Oh, 
Oh no, I died. Please tell me that doesn't remove my corruption. Oh good, it doesn't. Okay. So that's much better than I expected it would be. Let's see if I can get a hit on that power golem. There we go. That'll probably get it. Okay, good. That means I can use a volatile lay energy on the core itself. Okay. Grab the volatile lay energy. There we go. Come on. There we go. Okay. All targets must be eliminated. flashing it, I don't know what I need to do probably just not die there and I'll be fine okay so let's try that one more time and then I'll probably give up and do something else for a while but I do have the right idea at least Okay. Just gonna sit and argue. It's up to us. I'm not scared. I say we go after him ourselves. I admire your courage, but I'm not sure going after them is the best idea. Not your business, Outlander. Maybe. But haven't your families lost enough? How are they going to feel if you don't come back? We'll come back. We know how to fight. Show me. Huh? You heard me. Show me what you can do. I'll do the same. And we'll all get better at keeping each other safe. We won't go easy on you. You'd better not. Pretty good. 
You're not so bad yourself. You three can be a big help to your people. But only if you stay here to protect them. I guess. I know it's hard. That voice in your head, spoiling for a fight. But a wise warrior knows when to ignore that voice. Tough time for them. That voice in your head? You're not careful. It can take over. Get them to the village. What do you think they're up to in that queue of theirs? Hey, we know how to fight. Yeah, let us help. You want to help? Do it under the shield.
Outlander. The Cubs. I can protect them if you bring them to me. Thank you. I'll keep them safe. Okay, here we go again. Hopefully this will turn out better. I switched from the defensive trait back to the offensive trait for the scepter versus healing. So I'm going to do slightly more damage, but if I go down, then, well, if I go down at all, then I'm basically screwed. I should just restart from there, but I'm not going to because this is my last run for the night. Okay. Okay, so I should just focus on not getting hit by those attacks. Okay, there it is again. Hopefully I can get its health down enough to trigger the last phase. Failed 
Safe okay, there we go. Last phase. I'm just gonna go ahead and summon my allies. to the core. If I can destroy the core before the timer runs out, I win. There we go! Okay. Good job, me. He's gone. We return his body to the land, that it may be renewed. May his memory be a star to guide us. He will keep his, his memory, memory bright. bright. He will keep his memory bright. The day is won. The cost was high, but our victory brings resolve. We will not let these ravagers seize our land. The time has come to take the fight to them. Are there objections? In that case, warrior, Will you stand with us? Count on it. All right. <laughs>